Welcome to the Zymogen Knowledge Core. This series brings the latest details on the science behind Zymogen solutions. This Knowledge Core features Dr. David Hasse presenting at the 2015 Zymogen Experience in Orlando, Florida. Certified in both family and integrated holistic medicine, he is an AFMCP certified practitioner and a founding member of the Zymogen Medical Board of Advisors. In this episode, you'll get an inside look at the science behind our new formula, ATP Ignite. ATP Ignite. Anybody need a little ATP Ignite right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. I recommend you take it in the morning <laughs> because hey, this uh, is uh, profound. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so this is how many energy? How many of you know patients that use energy drinks? All right. How many food colorings, preservatives, additives? You know, they're going to be using something to jack up their energy. Is that fair? You know, we can, we can say all we want that this is not ideal, and I'm not a proponent of using stimulants to live life. Um, however, if you are going to use a stimulant, I'd sure like you to use one that has the potential to create health rather than cause detriment. So this is the idea around uh, ATP Ignite. It's an effervescent powder. Make sure you don't do what I just did and take a bottle of water and, and drink, take a little bit of water out of the top of it and start dumping it into a bottle. It, you get that kind of Vesuvius effect, <laughs> right? I, I felt like I was at my high school science fair, you know, the guy with the volcano, and arr, But it's not that effervescent, but uh, don't put it in enclosed areas. Um, so this is a stick, mix it with water, B vitamins, trace minerals, amino acids, herbs, antioxidants. Um, there's uh, two grams of carbs and zero sugar involved. Um, lots of energy drinks. So what is in it? Um, 525 milligrams of a proprietary blend that has 95 milligrams of caffeine. And this caffeine is in a compound known as pure energy. We'll go into that later. Uh, taurine, L-arginine alpha ketoglutarate, green tea, S-acetylglutathione as an antioxidant. Uh, no sugar, no artificial flavorings, no artificial colors. Um, no artificial stimulants, no ephedra. Lots of coffee being used. So what is pure energy? This is fascinating to me. Um, pure energy is a complex of pterostilbene and caffeine. Now, pterostilbene, uh, first heard, the first time I heard about pterostilbene was described as methylated resveratrol. And, and if we think about Zymogen's product, um, resveratin, uh, that has, is a combination of resveratrol, pterostilbene, and quercetin. So pterostilbene has a, is, has a longer half-life than resveratrol, has better absorption in general. So the, if we think of the effects that you have from with resveratrol, you have many of those same effects uh, on the sirtuin gene activity that you have with pterostilbene. So pterostilbene has been bonded to caffeine. And I thought, well, that's interesting, but who really cares? This is the, why it's been fascinating. The, this is the um, half-life curve. Now, if we see the black line is standard caffeine, 11.3 um, milligrams per kilogram of caffeine. And we see that there's a very quick spike at around, right around two hours, or actually around 30 minutes, and then a pretty rapid fall after that, um, and essentially the crash. Um, and the 26.3 milligrams of pure energy, which is the same amount of caffeine. Remember, it's a complex of caffeine and pterostilbene, so these are equivalent caffeine doses. We see that the pharmacokinetics of, of pure energy go up nice and slow, good plateau, and the half-life is uh, more on, uh, the half-life of pure energy was eight hours long, okay? So if you're highly caffeine sensitive, um, I recommend taking your dose first thing in the morning, and I recommend you, you try half dose first. Most of your patients who are using energy drinks, oh my gosh, they're going to love it because it, because, it does, because it doesn't wear off. And I will tell you that because the first time I had it, not being caffeine sensitive at all, uh, I took it at around uh, 5 in the evening, not thinking that was going to be a problem. And, and so and it was one of the few nights I had a hard, difficult time falling asleep. So this does have a longer half-life of caffeine, and it just stays up uh, nice. Now, what is the mechanism of caffeine? Why does it keep you alert? 
Yeah, I heard it. So it's, it's an adenosine blocker. So during the course of your day, adenosine builds up in your brain. And the more adenosine builds up, the more fatigue and sleep signals start to come around. And yes, Eve's quick, pure energy. <laughs> and so, the, um, uh, so what caffeine does is it disrupts, it blocks ADRA2 uh, receptor, so adenosine type 2 receptor. And it, so it keeps that adenosine that's been forming through your day from tickling your fatigue receptors, essentially. Okay? And that's why if you take caffeine that is of an immediate release form, um, you dose yourself and it displaces the adenosine and you have high alertness. Um, it potentiates dopamine release. It potentiates dopamine uh, sensitivity. Um, and it improves athletic performance. Uh, it improves short-term recall. So caffeine is, has some, is very, it's a safe in, in, low, in reasonable doses. And, um, but we see this big high spike and a very quick fall off. And that's why we have to keep redosing ourselves. So uh, anyway, um, so again, more pharmacokinetics. Uh, we see that actually more pterostilbene was absorbed uh, milligram for milligram in this complex than it was uh, as, a, as a single molecule, which is interesting. All the, uh, so all the levels of both caffeine and pterostilbene were higher as given as a complex together. Uh, yes, at six hours, a little study with or the pure energy versus caffeine showed that alertness fatigue measurements uh, were substantially different at six hours uh, compared with caffeine uh, using pure energy. Now that makes sense, right? After you saw the pharmacokinetics dose, at six hours, it's kind of a straw man a study for caffeine because caffeine should really plummet and should probably not give you a lot of increased alertness after uh, six hours. There are two vi genetic variations to think about with caffeine. One is your caffeine sensitivity, um, and then the other is your, uh, the likelihood that caffeine is going to disturb sleep. So those are actually two separate, um, uh, how quickly you metabolize caffeine and its, its disturbance of sleep are two separate genetic variants. So just be aware of that when you're dosing this with your patients and uh, make sure they take it early in the day the first time. And some folks that are hyper metabolizers, um, I think they'll do fine taking it later in the day. Uh, S-acetylglutathione is included in this product as an antioxidant um, and uh, I like that. How about that? There we go, there we go. I, I use quite a bit of S-acetylglutathione in uh, my mold sensitive patients um, and toxic patients. It's been very nice as an acute um, relief tool um, and uh, it's uh, been helpful. Um, all of the minerals that are in Zymogen formulas are Albion patented chelated molecules. Uh, this enhances absorption and also some data to show that it decreases the likelihood of, of overdosing. Easy on the stomach. So there's ATP Ignite. Attention healthcare practitioners. Be sure to sign up for our mailing list at Zymogen.com to receive exclusive offers on Zymogen formulas that can get your patients back to their lives. As always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed.